Hey guys, Chef Jeremy Bevins here. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is a simple sauce to make. It consists of egg, oil, and an acid. In this case today, we're going to be using lemon juice. I'm going to show you how to make it in a food processor, which is the best way to make it fast. You can do it by hand, you can whip it, and that is fine. It just takes a long time. I would not recommend using a gas grinder. It's easy to start off with. One egg yolk, and then I used a whole egg. Some recipes only call for egg yolk. I like that addition of an egg white just to add a nice fluffy texture to it. And you're just going to pulse this. Now you need to start off, get it mixed around so it will accept the oil. We're at that point, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drizzle this oil in nice and slow. You really want to start off slow at the beginning. You need to form that nice base of an emulsion. An emulsion is two things that don't want to go together that we're forcing to go together. Now the beauty of mayonnaise is you can use any type of oil that you want. Now if you want olive oil, I would not recommend using straight olive oil. Um, I do maybe 20% olive oil, 80% vegetable, um, only because that olive oil is a very strong flavor and it also turns your mayonnaise just a slight green color. But you can use canola, vegetable, you can use uh, grapeseed oil, any type of oil that is liquid at room temperature is a great type of oil to use. Now what we're looking for is we're looking for this emulsion to start turning light in color, nice and airy. And it will start to thicken up the more oil that you add. Right, so the beauty of this oil, again, is that you get to choose what you want to put in it. Uh, if you want to do roasted garlic cloves, you can do that. If you want to do basil, um, again, any type of oil that you want to put in, completely up to you. And unlike the store-bought mayonnaise, this will not hold at room temperature, and it will it, it will hold fine in the refrigerator for two up to three weeks in an airtight container. Now, I think, yeah, I think we have a great consistency. So what I want to do now is I want to season with a little bit of salt, just a little bit. Hit it with a little pepper and then squeeze of half of a lemon. If you don't have lemon, any type of acid would do. Apple cider vinegar is great. Uh, any, really any type of vinegar except for maybe balsamic or red wine vinegar. Anything that's going to change the color of your mayonnaise. Stir that in. We'll take a taste real fast. Oh my gosh, that was so close! 